Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm a hot mess. Hey, everybody. Today's video is completely unplanned. Uh, I was going to put a haul up today, and I filmed a haul, and I was really ready to share it. But then when I went to go check and see, you know, the links for the items, nothing was available. In fact, this is happening to me a lot right now where I will purchase things for a haul and it will, they'll just like sell out. I guess everyone's just shopping their stress away. So I'm like, okay, well, if I put that up, people are going to be angry that you can't buy anything from it. So I was like, well, what am I doing today that I could film that might be interesting? And I was like, well, my friend Courtney is doing this like amazing mermaid challenge. And I promised I would give her a mermaid post because I like to support people that I love and I love Courtney. So um, my plans for today were to create this like avant-garde high fashion mermaid with whatever I can find in my little fashion closet. I actually already kind of have that planned out. And as part of it, I obviously had to do makeup and put on a wig. And I was like, well, maybe I'll just film this process. And it might be a hot mess and it might be amazing, but like we're here together. So I did put a base on, except for this like little stubborn butt head right there. Will not allow itself to be hidden. It wants the world to know that I have had a stressed week. And ladies and gentlemen, I have. And now you know because this little mother came out to play. Um, today we're going to be primarily using a new palette, which is also kind of fun. I just got this in the mail. I bought this myself. It's the Naked Urban Decay Ultraviolet. Why are we using this palette? Because it's got this really pretty mint shade. For this look, I have not tried it at all. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's preface this. This is not a tutorial. This is literally my hot mess makeup that you're going to watch me do. Um, I wanted to use this palette because I want to use this mint. I want to do like a pastel variation of how Ariel's makeup is typically done, which is like a green on the lid and a purple in the crease, which when you say it sounds awful. And I just want to have a little side rant here. Ariel's hair is the worst hair of any like Disney princess. I just, I feel like people need to know this. And nobody's like, mm, you know what I want? I want a candy apple red hair color. That's just so beautiful. No, nobody wants that. Real redheads don't look like that. So I hate her hair. So instead I'm making her hair pink. Because <laughs> I feel like maybe that's what it was. Ariel was a little rebellious. And so she had a little bit of like a sassier hue, but it wasn't this terrible red color that I do not like at all. So I'm reimagining her hair color just like just a little bit, just a little bit. Please give me that artistic license. And I'm kind of tinting everything on the pastel end as well, just to kind of fall into this high end aerial look. It's really more inspired by I'm not going to look like a mermaid. Like, let's be real here, but I'm going to I'm going I'm gonna, to I'm gonna make it work. I'm going to make it work. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to like add some white around this area because I think I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to, actually, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me just, let me just start with the eyes. I think I should just start with the eyes. So I'm going to open up this palette, which I've been like looking for an excuse to open it. And I said, you can only open it until it's on camera. This is how I justify buying stuff. It's really pretty. It's very sparkly. And the color that I'm excited about is this lucid color, which is this lovely mint. Now, because it is so light, I know that I'm going to have to put white down. Otherwise, it's just going to get lost. So I'm going to start doing the crease and all of these crazy purples to get like a really popping crease and then go in here with that lucid color. Um, I also think I'm going to need some other greens from another palette, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there together. First eye primer. So I'm just going to rub that in while that's setting. Bloop. I'm going to do some brows. Do I have a reddish pinkish brow? No, I do not. I'm going to just do this like warm auburn. And it's called Mo Mo Monda. Monda. What a terrible name. Go do my brow right now. I never can get my eyebrows to look like both good. You get one. You get one eyebrow. I feel like I'm having a babe moment with these eyebrows, which is remember how like the owner's like, that'll do pig, that'll do. That's how I feel. Also, I don't view that as a negative term on myself. I'm not attacking myself by saying that. I just, I always think of babe when I am gonna just accept something, that'll do. So because I'm lazy and I don't wanna dig for a brush, I'm just gonna use the brushes that are in here. 
uh, which may or may not be a smart decision, but we're going to play around with it. We're going to make it happen. And I'm going to start um, really with this warning. <laughs> I'm going to start with a warning to all of you. Why are you watching this? Start with a warning. Just go at it. Okay, straight up. Oh, I got it. I hate when I have a hair on my face. I hate it so much. Uh, this is exactly what I, oh God, it's there. Where are you? I can feel it. I can feel it on my face, but I can't see it. Oh, you devil hair. Where are you? I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna take you out. Now, this is actually kind of the intensity I want. I don't want an extreme. It's like pastel. I'm, I'm really thinking light here, so this is actually perfect. Now, there's this color next to it called Optimize, which is like a lovely lavender. And this is a little pink, right? It doesn't look purple, and I really want to be true to that, like purple, mint, green vibe. Sorry, that's not my vibe at all. But it is for this shoot because we are pastel, regal, aerial. So I'm just going to try to take it over and see if it makes it a little bit more purple and less pink. Yeah, so now you can already see that this already has like more of a like princessy purple to it than uh, the other side. So I'm just going to go and repeat. I'm just using the same brush I used for the pink and I'm really just going ham. It's kind of, I'm like resisting the urge to go full on fantasy makeup here because I think when people do mermaids, like that is the urge is like full fantasy where it's like scales up here. I've done it. I've a hundred percent done it. Or you do like the scales here and around the cheekbone. I'm going to do straight up glam high fashion. Like we are not, we are not going to go there though. I do want to go there. Like I'm sitting here going, oh, these pretty purples. We could contour. No, we are not contouring in a color today. I just want you to know that I do want to do that. Maybe I will do it in the future. These colors are working really well. I really like the pigmentation on them. I'm going to go a little bit darker. So I'm going to go with this euphoric color. I like it because it's more blue. We're trending a little pink here. And I want to just bring it from the corner in, giving us a little bit more like definition, right? Because I like eyes that are defined. And I'm going to go right here and I'm going to stab it a little bit and then blend. Ooh, oh my gosh. Like the color... Once we add that blue kind of color to it, do you see how it just deepens this purpley pink color in such a magical way? And I love that these colors are just so nice. And the cool thing is because they're so light, I can literally just blend them in. So it's almost like my eyeshadow just like disappears out. Oh, which I kind of really like that like vibe it's giving. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this end, but first I'm gonna put some of this Mor Morphe white stuff in. Now I have to work fast on this. I'm gonna be real. When I film stuff for TikToks, I always like cheat the system. Um, I put some on and then I immediately go in with the color. And the reason I do that is because my eyes, because they are a little like hooded or whatever, it like gets all the way up in there. It's a hot mess. So I've gotta go right as soon as I put it. So I take the white. I'm just gonna put it right here. Now I'm gonna keep that keep that eye completely closed. Go into our lucid color that I'm obsessed with. I'm trying to move fast. Trying to move fast. Starting to go up into that creasy area. This looks a little hot mess. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. I just haven't fixed it yet. Oh, I love how bright that is. It's a lot brighter, and I love actually it coming down here. Okay, I don't hate that. I I actually really love this color Ooh, she cute so now i definitely need to add some like darker green notes into this it's just too it's too pastel so i have this violet voss essentials palette and i'm really going to just use this emerald color here and what i'm going to do is take the same brush i used for the lucid and i'm going to mix it into the emerald a little bit i'm getting like a kind of subdued version of that green Ooh, see, that's perfect. That is absolutely exactly what I wanted. Ooh, your girl is obsessed. Your girl is obsessed. Your girl is obsessed with what is happening to her eyes. 
So I'm gonna take a brush and just take the Lucid and just make sure we're blending here. So now I'm gonna do a little clean up and see where we're at and see where I wanna go from here. Here's what I'm liking. I'm liking the color payout on both of these sides. I I really like the little mermaidish vibe. It feels good, but it doesn't feel over the top. Again, trying to avoid that fantasy vibe. She's kind of cute though, it's kind of fun. Okay, so I've cleaned up a little bit under the eye. I feel like this still feels a little, there we go. Just need to get that purple to feel like it belongs a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm actually just taking this and blending it into the ends of the green. So now you can see it's a little bit more seamless. It's almost like a, it's almost like a, what do you call it? Smoky eye. Bada bing, bada boop. Now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing now. Yes, I do. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is clean up my foundation and do all of that stuff. I'm using the Tom Ford 2.0 buff stick. And I'm just going to put a little bit more here underneath the eyes. And rather than blend this out with a brush or anything else, I'm just going to use my fingers. People are always are like, do your foundation after. I didn't feel like it. I like this foundation when my skin is a little bit dry. And because I had a long hiking today, I'm a little dehydrated. Um, I need it. So I'm just going in here and trying to cover up my baddies. This is Cafe Au Latte NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Just, just, just the little butt heads. The butt heads got to go. The butt heads got to go. Who's got a flawless face? Not me, but it looks kind of like it right now. <laughs> Kind of, because I'm not a great makeup artist. I'm a mediocre one. Get myself some brushes to do some things. So I'm going to give myself a nice, soft, soft look, which means I'm going to use a mix of this Satisfy blush and this quick, this X-rated blush, blush. Both of these are from Urban Decay as well. So I'm going to start with the pink. And then I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to use this little slightly orange color, which is Satisfy. And that's so it's just a little bit more depth to the blush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this with powder. And there is a powder that I love right now. I just started using it. It's from Laura Mercier. It's their translucent powder. And I'm obsessed with it. Like I hadn't used it before. I know Seth O'Brien uses it and loves it. I got sent some, started using it, and now I'm hooked. I'm just going in and powdering everything. You really need to do this with the type of foundation I used. I used a stick foundation and stick foundation are not going to hold as well if you don't powder them. So I'm powdering my whole face. I also want that really matte look. I want to do this kind of almost old worldy cherubic aerial thing. In my mind, I don't know if I'm actually going to achieve what I think I'm capable of but I have some pretty cool ideas. So I'm just trying to like get there somehow, like maybe. So now you can see my face is a lot more matte, which is nice for what I want to do. Now I need to finish this. So you would think it was done. It's not actually this little blend here. You need to blend a little better girl blend. I need to put a little bit of this purple power underneath my eyelid, add some lashes. I think I'm going to put on false lashes. I never do that because I'm terrible at them, but I'm going to use that euphoric purple and I'm going to go underneath here. Beautiful. Now I'm going to line it. And instead of using a black liner, I'm going to use a brown liner, still liquid. I'm using this uh, Joa I'm so fly liner. It was sent to me. I don't know where it came from, but it's brown. So I'm using it. I'm going to go across the top. And I'm just literally doing a line. I'm not doing a, like a wing out. And then I'm going to go right under the lower line as well. Just a little bit in. Now 
I'm just gonna put some mascara on. I'm gonna use this Fenty uh, Beauty. I'm not gonna do lashes. I just, I hate them. I hate lashes. I know everybody loves them so much, but I hate them. I think they're so much work. They feel uncomfortable. I don't know why people like them. I, I've never understood why people like them. I never put them on and go, oh, I only feel so pretty. I don't. I don't feel pretty at all with lashes on. I feel like they are an unnecessary evil. So I'm not going to put myself through it today because I'm worth more than that today. So I'm just going to put some fancy mascara on. This Fenty Beauty, um, I think it's called Full Frontal, is really good at getting big, big lashes with like just what you got. Open your not to me. That's what's in my head right now. And I can't figure out where. I think I watched a whole bunch of Gap commercials the other day and they were, that was in one of them. Did you know Missy Elliott and Madonna used to rep Gap? I just, Gap had a time, man, where Gap was cool. Now it's where moms buy jeans on sale. Because we all know nobody buys anything full price at Gap. And also, like, why do they have so many outlets? And, like, why, like, who's clamoring for a Gap sweatsuit? Because every time I go into Gap outlet, it's just, like, a whole bunch of Gap sweatsuits. And I'm like, who is this demographic who's like, you know what, I can't wait to get the latest Gap sweatsuit. I don't know who that person is, but they confuse me. They confuse me a lot. Okay, that's actually starting to look gorge. Oh, obsessed. So I'm going to go in with this X-rated, which is that pink color a little bit more. I just really want that pink, like, to be, like, bloop, 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 like, so over the top. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to put my wig on. We'll do my lips last, but first let me spray, spray myself down. Uh, right now I'm using setting spray, but for the past three days I've been spraying myself down with so much bug spray. It's disgusting. My entire house smells like child's bug spray that I bought and I can't get rid of the smell. I can't get rid of it. Ooh, I'm going to put a wig on. This wig is a hot mess. It is a wig that I don't think I've ever worn. I don't know why I haven't worn it. I'm sure I'll remember why I haven't worn it right when I put it on because that's usually what happens. Um, what I'm doing right now is braiding my bangs back because they are terrible. And I'm going to do one braid here, one braid here, one braid here. The rest I'll lob into a ponytail. But they're they're just difficult when putting on a wig a lot of the time. So just take out the trouble. Here's a wig cap. I generally always feel like I'm sticking my head in a giant tube sock. Here's our beauty. And when I say beauty, she's gonna need some work cause she's rough. She's rough, but she does have a little bit of that orange tint to it, but it's more faded, more luxe. I feel like this is closer to what I would want Ariel's hair to look like. I hope in the movie they give that girl like a decent wig and they don't put her in like ultraviolet red. And for all of you out there who are watching this going like, I love Disney, I love the ultraviolet red. Don't lie to us. Nobody needs those lies. It was a weird time. People were taking and making bold choices and that ugly hair color was just a bold choice. I don't know how much work I'm gonna need to make this look natural. <laughs> Let's just put it on. So I need to pull it forward. It's like tiny. My head is so big that oftentimes these wigs like hurt. Cause my, I just have a big ass head, okay? It's not my fault that I was born this way. Lady Gaga told me it was the, I was on the right track. This is the wig. She is, well, she is a wig. I think this is supposed to be centered, yep. It's honestly not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's bad. It's bad. So I'm going to go try to fix it a little bit. I'm going to not do this on camera because it might involve tears and the eventual destruction of this wig. That's also possible too. Give me a little bit. I'm going to be back. So this is the end result. I basically just reparted the hair to a side part and then straightened out the wig. It's a little bit rough still, but I think it'll look good in pictures. And then I added this little sea urchin flower nod to Ariel and hopefully, 
Hopefully it looks great in pictures. I like it because it's this soft, like pinkish reddish color, which I think is much more in line with what I wish Ariel's hair color looked like instead of that nasty bright red. I can't stop touching it because I've done so much work to get it to feel like this. And this is a synthetic wig, guys, which is like the hardest thing in the world to work with, but I did it. I made it work. Ah! I'm proud of myself. This one was hard. This one was really freaking hard to fix. Um, okay, now what I'm gonna do is lips. So I'm gonna do a little trick for this one. Um, the reality is, is I want like a really frosty lip. So I'm gonna take this Fenty color from like last year, which is called Starlet. The color's not right, I get it. So what I am gonna do is take, God, my favorite highlight, which is Master Chrome by Face Studio. It's a Maybelline product. It's like cheap as hell, but I love this stuff. It's an amazing highlight. Every time I wear it, people ask me where I get it and it's cheap. So all I'm gonna do is dip my finger in here and go ham. And I love a frosted lip. This gives me what I want color wise. And then what I do is I take a little bit of this jelly tube from Lancome. Hello, 1990. Still good, guys. Still good. Um, back with a vengeance. And I'm just going to go on here and give your girl some sheen. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with how I look right now. I'm also kind of into this. I think I just like that I have hair that covers the tatas. I've always secretly wanted that. Mm. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is go put on my outfit and take pictures. And if you want to see how the whole thing turned out, just go to my Instagram because I will have posted it today. And because it's going up the same day I filmed all of this. So yay. So thank you so much for watching me turn myself into a pastel high glam aerial. Okay, so it's not as high end as I thought it would be. I have a lot of fun playing with this hair, by the way. Um, but I'm actually really proud with how it turned out. I think it looks a lot better than I thought it was gonna look. <laughs> Again, I didn't plan this, so I didn't know where it was going and it went somewhere kind of nice, so yay. So check out those photos. Links to everything I used are linked down below. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. I'll check you later and peace.